Let's get this party started. Traded in my Mustang Bullet for this Mazda Miata. My 2019 Mustang Bullet. Fully loaded, awesome car, super fast. Not so much fun to drive around town because first gear, easily 30, 40 miles an hour. Second gear, over 80 miles an hour. So I wasn't getting the fun that I wanted out of the car. Three years with the Mustang Bullet, it was time for a change one way or the other. And I looked around at all the options. I've had Miatas before, I've had multiple Mustangs before. And the one thing that I loved about my Miata was I could take it to the autocross, I could take it to the track, super consistent at the track, cheap to run at the track, excellent at autocross, didn't have quite enough power, but that's like 130 or 40 horsepower versus this ND2 with 181 horsepower. And I am, uh, I was really caught up in it and I said, let me try the new Miata. At this stage of my life, I think this is a really good choice for me. I can have a lot of fun with it. That Mustang around town just wasn't a lot of fun and I wasn't really planning on tracking it. Uh, that's another knock against the Mustang is that darn one-two shift. Man, that one-two shift in the Mustang stinks. I didn't have a GT350. I'm sure if I had the GT350 with the Tremac transmission that it would have been fine. But that Mustang transmission in the base car, I mean in the Mustang GT and in the Bullet, that one-two shift is just horrible. Immediately upon driving the Miata, I noticed that all the shifting is much better. Any gear, it's really fun. And of high importance to me, any time you're driving the Miata, you can have fun. You can shift without being breaking the law. You can shift one, two, three, and even into fourth on a 30 mile an hour road and still have a ton of fun. And listen, when you drive most of the time, where do you drive most of the time? Like your speed limits aren't 70, 80 miles an hour all the time. They're more like 30, 40, 45. And even on off ramps, this car, this Miata is phenomenally fun. I can even goof around on this straightaway. Like this is just fun. The car is tight. You can feel this thing being just tight in any corner, almost at any speed, but any corner you can make fun because the car is the closest thing to a go-kart that I've ever been in without any modifications whatsoever. Now it doesn't have all the features of the Mustang. I mean, I have rev matching on the Mustang so I could turn that on or off. In the Miata, I have to do heel and toe downshifting. I have to rev match on my own, which is actually kind of fun. I, it actually depends on which shoes I'm wearing, whether or not I think it's awesome, because some of my shoes, you can't really feel the pedals as much, but I'm like going out of my way to downshift and rev match on my downshifts. I'm actually driving this car. I got about 150 miles on it, and I'm not trying to drive it too hard, the other thing is that I'm actually driving it. It's early March and I'm in the Northeast. <laughs> and I can tell you that the roads are still covered in snow in some areas, not the roads, but there's definitely snow out there. And I've, uh, I've been driving it in pretty crappy conditions, but this is a car I'm absolutely gonna use. It's not a bullet, it's not a specialty car. I'm just gonna enjoy it. So here's a pretty spirited corner and you know, you can pound it into third gear. And what am I going? I'm going almost 40 miles an hour. This is a 30 mile an hour speed limit road, but I can rip around that corner coming onto this 30 mile an hour road, first, second, third gear, probably push it into fourth, get three solid shifts, not even be breaking the law really. And um, that's fine. In your Mustang, you come around that same corner, first gear, you cannot get on first gear because by the time you hit the top end of first gear, you're, first of all, it's like a hundred decibels on the outside of the car. Everybody knows you're driving like a jerk. And second, the, by the time you shift into second, you're way over the speed limit. It's just not as much fun. So for me and the restrictions around how I drive, the Miata actually becomes a much better choice. Will I miss the bullet? Yeah, I'm gonna miss the bullet, man. That car was gorgeous. It was so fast on the highways, but um, the feature set was incredible. 
I love the ventilated seats. I don't have ventilated seats in this Miata. The stereo is definitely nicer than in this Miata. To the Miata's credit, the stereo is better than my last Miata, better than my last BRZ, and it is good enough for me uh, at, this, at this stage, I think. I'm not going to be cranking up music too loud, and it is actually pretty enjoyable from a stereo perspective. Plus, it's got Android Auto. It's got automatic climate control, automatic wipers. Now, otherwise, it's pretty well equipped. I actually really like the look of the leather. This comes, I think the color is called Magnetic Gray. It's uh, gray with a little bit of a hint of blue in there. It's really nice. Next thing that you'll notice as a Mustang driver, the Mustang Bullet is pretty much like a GT Cruiser in a lot of ways, even though it's like a burly motor with a super amount of 480 horsepower. This Miata is like a must, is like a go-kart. So when I drive this on the highway, it has like a resonance to it that causes a little bit of vibration. And I'm not talking about it being out of balance or out of alignment or anything. It just is raw. So the experience on the highway, the sensation of speed at 60, 70 plus miles an hour, uh, and I don't want to break the law while I'm driving or anything. Just to give you a feel for that engine rev without me talking through it. But on the highway at those speeds, and I wear multifocal contact lenses, which means I need them a little bit for distance and I need them for reading. So depending on where I look, my contact lenses give me different variations of, uh, of magnification. And the first two times I drove my, my Miata on the highway, I was like, holy crap, I can't see. The car is vibrating just enough that my contact lenses are not allowing me to focus on anything far away. So everything was just a little bit blurry. And it took me two or three times driving the Miata in order for my eyes to adjust to be able to see correctly on the highway. The car drives smooth and fine. I mean, I'm driving pretty fast on the highways and it's not, like I said, it's not out of alignment. It's not out of balance. It just vibrates a little bit more than your Mustang does, which is totally like a total cruiser. If I had to go like gumball rally across country, I would not choose a Miata. I would definitely choose a Mustang Bullet because that thing will cruise all day long at whatever speed you want and it is super comfortable. It's actually like, it's actually like a luxury car. I would prefer it over my old BMW 340i. Like it had more features than my old BMW, which was an awesome car in and of its own right, but the Mustang had more features, more technology features, more power, faster, handled better, everything. This car is just more fun. Just plain more fun. Shifting it is more fun, driving it is more fun. I love being able to pop the top down. I mean, actually, what I'll do, I'm just gonna pull over and pull the top down and record the whole thing. You'll see like how fast it is to pull the top down in the Miata. All right, one-handed operation. You Mustang drivers out there, I don't know what it's like to take the top down in a Mustang, but in a Miata, there you go. We're done. Top is down. I didn't even rush it. Uh, and you know, in making the decision between a Miata and the new BRZ or the new 86, I just felt like the Miata with the extra benefit of being able to put the top down and its lighter weight, I thought that I would have more fun driving the Miata than in the BRZ. I also considered the Supra and I thought that the Supra would be pretty cool. But every time I had myself thinking about the Supra, I couldn't stop myself from thinking about the Z4. And at the end of the day, when I start thinking about a car like a Supra or a BMW Z4, I cannot purchase the engine with the smaller engine option. I always immediately when I start thinking about that car, I gotta go for the faster, bigger engine option. So there was definitely a piece of that that 
just too fast. They were just too fast for what I want to be able to do in the next few years with uh, this car. Here's a couple of the key things you need to know. First of all, Mustang. First and second gear is all you really need to ever drive. Second gear, you'll bust the speed limit on any street or road in America. You can go over 80 miles an hour in second gear. The rest of the gears, I mean, you're gonna use them, but it's definitely not as much fun to just row the gears in the Mustang, especially when the one-two shift absolutely blows. In the Miata, Every shift is sweet and smooth and effortless. The cockpit is much tighter. On highway speeds, at highway speeds, the sensation of speed is incredibly, incredibly different. 80 miles an hour in this car, <clears throat> breaking the law, 80 miles an hour in this car feels very fast. And it is so rigid, it is so tight, even compared to some of my older Miatas and Mustangs with upgraded suspension for tracking. This Miata already feels possible to uh, make a track ready version stock. So it's pretty cool how tightly wound they have this car. It feels like a go-kart. So I never took my Mustang Bullet out on track. It's a $55,000 car. You know, this Miata is significantly, significantly cheaper. And I just feel like, you know, for where I'm at in my life, what I want to do, I got a more fun to drive car every time I get in the car. It's definitely not as fast, but it feels way, way, way quicker than my old Miata NB. And it definitely feels better than my, uh, my Subaru BRZ, my 2013 Subaru BRZ, like the first year that the BRZ came out. That thing sucked to drive, excuse my language, but that thing was horrible to drive. The stereo was terrible, it was loud, it didn't have any mid-range power at all. Like, it handled great, but that was, and it looked good. I don't say this, it definitely looked good, but that was about it. All right, that concludes my first impression of the Miata versus the Mustang Bullet.